Welcome to another video guys. On today's episode we're going to be putting a uh, shifter on the Mustang. So we're going to be showing you how to install a shifter from your 94 to 04 Mustang. Uh, GT, V6, any of them would be the same. Uh, basic same principle will apply to older models like Fox bodies or even a little bit newer bo uh, body styles as well. But uh, there are some different <clears throat> pieces for the older or newer car. So, uh, what we have here is the MGW shifter. So I'm going to unpackage it, uh, show you everything that came with the package, and then we're going to dive in into uh, installing it in the car. As well as afterwards, we're going to take it for a drive and just see what the difference is with the shifter compared to the uh, factory one that I have in there or other ones that you may have. Alright, now this uh, shifters here are pretty much made to order. Uh, MGW is a US company, so they do uh, make the shifters when you order them usually. Uh, the main thing that I notice on this shifter here is they include this, uh, this is like a sound barrier pad. Uh, it's about a 3 eighths of an inch, maybe quarter inch thick foam pad that is supposed to help with the uh, sound from the shifter. And then you do have different options with their shifters as well. So uh, they do include some black RTB. What I found really cool is that they include a gasket as well for your shifter. Now on my car, uh, it had just RTB silicone in it. When I put the engine not you know long ago, I did make my own cork gasket just because I didn't want to have to clean up all the silicone. Um, but they include also a gasket. So it tells you, um, you can choose one or the other, but not both. Um, so anyways, this is really cool. Nice uh, quality gasket. I think I'm going to use the gasket, but we'll see once we get there. Uh, when you order the shifters, uh, you also get, this is the kind of the shifter piece. Um, this is what bolts onto the main shifter and then your handle bolts in here and then you tie this up. <clears throat> so this uh, M MGW has a pen on all their shifters, so they're this sign is pretty much specific to theirs. Uh, they do include all the bolts. It looks like you have your mounting bolts here and looks like maybe some of the stops for the shifter and the Allen wrench. As well as the handle. So you can choose between a Comfort, Standard or Race handle. Uh, I went with the Standard which is kind of the middle of the pack. Uh, as far as the feel and the shift angle and everything, but uh, you can buy these separate so you can also uh, When you order a shifter you can buy you know a race and a standard or standard and comfort whichever one you want Or you can get them later on so if you want to switch it up And they also included some nice uh, decals well, you know, Those are always nice give you an extra horsepower This is the shifter itself, so nicely packaged. Everything came really nice packed in here. So this is the shifter itself. A little bit of grease in my finger here, but uh, you know, it's uh, very nice. Uh, again, uh, this is made in the USA, so that's really nice. Uh, nice piece of aluminum. Um, comes with this boot, which is really nice. Houses everything inside of here. Now, <clears throat> if I take this boot out or pull it back, you can see here's the, uh, these are where you would put those screws on there. I believe these are the stops, so you know, you, you have the right stop up and down. So you'll have to install those. Uh, what I really, really liked about this shifter that I noticed right away when I took out of the packaging is how tight it is. So this is centered right at the middle. <clears throat> Most shifters, you can move them really easy. This one, it's 
I mean, the springs are nice and strong and it centers it right at the middle. So we'll see how that changes the feel of the shifter in the car. Um, just because, you know, those are a little bit stiffer, stronger than the factory ones, but um, I don't see how that would be a bad thing, but you know, we'll see how that makes a difference. Here. So that's pretty much all you get with this. Uh, pretty straightforward. I don't think there's anything else, just the cardboard in here, yep. So that's pretty much it. Um, this is just the invoice shipping label. Uh, I don't really see any instructions other than the uh, ones for the gasket here, but everything should be pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, put in these little pieces for the adjustment. I believe you put it in gear and you gotta tighten them up so they're, you know, you don't wanna have extra where you're pushing too much. So we'll look into that once we install it. So I'm next, we're gonna get started in the car, taking the old one off. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about the shifter ball, uh, shifter handle, and then we'll, you know, we'll follow along as we take the old one off and put the new one on. So there's pretty much a few steps for this. Uh, first step is going to be take your shifter off. Uh, if you have a factory shifter that's never come off, it might be really tight. So I would recommend use like a strap wrench to get it off if you can't turn it by hand. Um, don't use anything like pliers because then you might, you know, leave marks on it if you plan to reuse it. If you're not going to reuse it, then that's a different story. Uh, another thing I was gonna say is, you know, be careful if you buy like one of those shifters from, you know, like the universal ones that don't really thread into your um, actual shifter. They just have like a little set screw on the side. Usually those have a really big hole. They have little inserts, but they just tend to get loose, uh, you know, all the time. So keep that in mind. If, if you're gonna buy a shifter, um, MGW sells a really nice, shifter with the little uh, sleeve that locks it in place uh, you know you can buy one of theirs or you can order some from um, you know there's different places online that sell the actual thread on style so that way they're fixed and they're pretty good so uh, with the shifter removed then you want to lift this piece up uh, the clips so you know just pull it up carefully and then you are gonna have your cigarette lighter here connected on the back. So there's a little clip you push and it clips up. Uh, be very careful. These, you know, they should stay in there. Make sure you don't break them um, all the way around. This is already has an aftermarket boot, um, but you know, your factory boot's gonna look pretty much the same. I do have this uh, alarm wire here, so I don't wanna disconnect it. I'm just gonna leave it connected there. Keep that in mind, you're not gonna have that. Um, and then just be careful when you're pulling it up, just you know, pull it straight so you don't break this little tabs off here. So uh, if you have a factory shifter, it's gonna probably look a little bit different than this, um, but it's still gonna have the two bolts here. And if you have the factory shift boot, uh, this one's already been, it's broken here a little bit. Um, see this little piece is already like broken off since whoever installed the shifter probably broke it to put it on or you know it's been off but anyways you can take this two bolts off and you'll be smooth that way you don't have to break that booth uh, so if you your boot is really good it's new it's not torn take these bolts off that way you can lift it right up um, I believe you can get a new boot from the Ford dealer so I'm not gonna I didn't get in one or anything but just keep that in mind these four bolts are eight millimeter, so I just get a eight millimeter socket and take them off. And I'm just gonna set them here in the cup holder, that way I can save them to reuse them.
All right, got the four bolts out. And you're just gonna angle this out of the way here. Like I said, this one's already been, you know, it's, it's a little bit cut so I can lift it out that way. Um, but if yours is really good condition, I say, uh, you know, take this bolts off. That way you don't rip it out. You can see this is kind of bent a little bit also. Um, here on the back front. So what I'm going to do is get a piece of, put in a piece of wood and just bend it a little bit so it's more, it's flatter. Um, this is a cover so, you know, this is going to keep, uh, you know, any exhaust fumes or anything coming in and some of the noise. The MGW shifter does come with that uh, pad that's going to help with that, but, um, you know, I'll strain this out as well just to make it look nicer. The next step here is taking the shifter bolts off. And this is a 13 millimeter. It shouldn't be too tight. And when I put my engine uh, in the car not too long ago here, uh, actually a few days I finished doing this, but um, I didn't put silicone on the shifter just because I knew I was going to take it off. So I did put, uh, I made my own gasket. And it's, it, you know, I drove the car on the freeway and everything. I think I put like about 60 miles so far. So there's no leaks or anything. So if you really want to make your own gasket, you always can. Um, I am going to clean these bolts up really good now that I got them off again. Actually, I am not going to clean those bolts. The MGW shifter comes with longer bolts because the MGW shifter is thicker than the factory one. So um, I don't need to reuse these. So I don't have to clean them up. Make sure when you're going to start this, uh, your shifter is on neutral. You don't want to leave it in a gear because then it's going to be hard to put the uh, new shifter in there. But um, since this, I did make the gasket, you know, it's just going to pull right out. If you have silicone, you might have to break it off. A uh, good way to kind of break the, the seal is, you know, move this this way and then just smack it to the side. If it's really bad, you might have to... Uh, get like a pry bar from underneath and maybe, you know, hit it up a little bit, but you never want to move it up and down. And then actually I realized this is a 3650 transmission. So I'm going to need to use this little cup. And the other different thing is I'm not going to need, I don't need to set those uh, screws for the stop. So if you have a T5 or a T45, you do get those on the new shifter. On this one, you just leave it as is. So. All right, so I'm gonna get this ready here. So once again, we're gonna save these uh, because since we have the 3650, we don't have to use these. I'm gonna get these ready. So these are the new bolts. So they are longer because this it's thicker than the factory shifter. So see the factory shifter is pretty much just like a thin piece of uh, metal. So it's maybe a sixteenth of an inch, I don't know. And so this is thicker plate. If you use the factory bolts, they would probably only go in like a quarter inch. So um, this one's you'll want to put lock washer in there and flat washer. So the flat washer is gonna sit against this piece here. And 
looks like I'm missing a flat washer. Well, let me find one that'll work. All right, here we go. So we got four. So we're gonna get our shifter and get this gasket ready. And that's going to go in there just like that. They do recommend it. If you're going to use the gasket to use some uh, blue Loctite on the bolts. So we'll go ahead and do that. That was a new bottle, so we'll get a other bottle here. Oh, look, washer was over here. I must have misplaced it. All right, four bolts, lock tight, shifter. Let's go set it on. What I'm going to do first is just place the uh, gasket over the transmission actually. I'll make it easier than... Place our shifter right over. And just make sure when you do that, um, you know, the bolts, make sure you lighten them up really good. But make sure you're going through the gasket, make sure it didn't move where the gasket's out of the, the bolt. So um, I'm going to do one of these at a time. But Yeah, I'm going to put a little tiny dab of the blue Loctite on these. And you always want to get these started by hand. They should be, they should go pretty much all the way in by hand. So you shouldn't have to, you know, if one of your threads is a little bit dirty or messed up, um, get a thread cleaner, thread chaser and clean it up really good before you try to get your socket in there.
right, got the third bolt in there. And it's weird, but it looks like the gasket has only one way goes on. Uh, if you have it upside down, it feels like it doesn't line up in the hole, so that's kind of weird. But if you have it in the right, um, the right way, you flip it, it lines up perfectly. So. Quite honestly, I don't think any of the holes are kind of offset, but it just felt that way, so. All right. So that's pretty much, you know, what it looks like with the bolts all in there. Just hand tighten. I'm going to go ahead and get my... I'll go ahead and finish tying them up, but I'll get my socket and tie them all the way down. If you had the old, uh, not the old, but the uh, T45 or T5 transmission, um, after you time this is when you would put those bolts for the uh, stop on the shifter. So I'm going to do one corner, go across, go down to the other corner, and then go across it again just to keep it even. And remember, you're uh, tying these bolts down to aluminum, so, you know, you don't want to get a big old pry bar and, or a cheater bar and tying this down so crazy. Um, just, you know, pretty snug. You're good to go. All right, so before I do put this piece in there, um, actually gonna get that uh, piece for there. All right, so I got this piece. You might have heard the uh, you know attitude adjuster on the background there, so I was just beating it up with the uh, hammer to get it straight. Just because it was kind of crooked. <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, I didn't remember that this was kind of beat up. Uh, quite honestly, I, I would have looked into getting a new one. But, um, you know, I'm not going to stop right now and wait for a new one to come in. I mean, I might get one. In the future. Um. You know, get get one coming, and then that way, if I do change to or you know take out the shift or anything, I can change it at that point. But it's not ripped that bad, so it's not you know it's not that big of a deal. But I guess think ahead if you know your boot is a little bit torn on your car, get one order ahead of time. That way, when you're doing this, you can just swap it out right away, and you don't have to wait. on the back are a little bit harder um, you know just because you're right up against your stereo or your trim here so just be careful not to scratch it um, take your time but
And just make sure when you put this uh, piece in there, the rubber doesn't fold in, <clears throat> in the corners. Uh, it's a little bit tight to get it in there, so just make sure it, you know you keep it flat. All right. So that's in there. I'm gonna get this piece here. Guess with this one here, this part, uh, when you, if you do need to remove your shifter, you know you're gonna have to kind of pull this out. Um, should just kind of pop right back out, but keep that in mind. But this is supposed to uh, stop the noise, kind of from coming through. Um, better insulated in there so we'll see what kind of uh you know effect that makes it so this goes right in here you tighten up this bolts on there and the nice thing with this is you have a bunch of adjustability so um, i know that with this is the medium handle you can push it in all the way kind of um, down about you know quarter inch or so it makes it a little bit shorter tool or you can pull it up if you want more of the comfort so I'm just gonna leave it right in the middle um, another thing is you know you can angle this so some people like to leave it on an angle like this so it's closer to you um, I don't know if some people might want to have it farther away from them it depends I guess on your style but um, I think the factory one was pretty much straight so I'm gonna leave it there and then I can always go back and move it a little bit if I need to but yeah I'm just gonna leave it completely straight for right now so I do have this allen key that came with it Just make sure you get these bolts tied up uh, kind of evenly. So do the top to the bottom evenly so that way it tines up even. get this one like I said I'm just gonna leave it right straight back kind of like the factory one we'll see if I do want to move it I can always loosen these and move it around but so that's that's pretty good. Uh, this shifter is really tight from what I had on other cars. Uh, you know, it's just really precise, it feels like. So we're gonna go for a ride and see what the feel is. But um, as far as like side to side, you know, it centers you right in the middle. So you're right straight with third and fourth. Um, to go to first, I mean, it's very short. You barely have to move it. 
um, and then you know your reverse it's not bad but it's it's just tight um, over the years I had different shifters anywhere from uh, I remember on my first Mustang was a 95 GT I ordered an eBay shifter for about 20 bucks back years ago and uh, you know it, it worked all right I guess the only bad thing with that shifter I gotta say is the two bolts to hold the handle and <clears throat> the way they made it um, I don't even know if it had lock washers on it but it kept coming loose so sometimes you'd be driving and it just you know your one of the bolts will come out so you, your handle will be loose um, fortunately through the boot I was able to grab the lower piece and shift it but you know you get what you pay for really um, we had different ones, uh, you know, driving cars with the Steeda ones. Those are pretty nice. Um, <clears throat> the Roush one was really good. That was a Roush shifter. Um, the Celine one, I mean, it was pretty much the factory shifter with a different uh, little handle on it. So it was shorter, but it wasn't like, you know, the bottom pieces weren't aftermarket better or anything like that. So, um I driven cars with like the Hurst shifters, you know, all that. So they they all feel different, but they're pretty similar in comparison. Um, <clears throat> anyways, so now we can put the shift boot here, uh, housing. Make sure you connect your cigarette lighter or your uh, phone charger. I don't smoke, so I don't have a cigarette lighter in there. But... All right, uh, line up your boot in here. And just get it all back together. Um, like I said before, with your shift balls, it's going to be different. Um, I have this threaded one. Uh, the MGWs are really nice, and then they have the little sleeve that locks it in place. Uh, this one's all aluminum, but if you put it in all the way, let's see. You know, they one, I mean, actually, <laughs> that's funny. Most of the time, these aren't straight, so once you tighten it all the way down, they're, you know, upside down or whatever. And so what I usually do is I put Teflon. Um, I put some on the bottom threads a few you know a few uh, I go around the, the threads a few times and then I come up and maybe go down and that makes it tighter so that way even before it bottoms out you know it's tight where you can leave it straight and just leave it at that so um, with this one which is kind of cool um, <laughs> it's nice and straight so I'm not even gonna put any Teflon I'm just gonna leave it as this so um, I do gotta say though this is by far the tightest shifter I really had um, I mean there's like no slack no you know it's not sloppy or anything uh, it feels really nice I'm gonna clean all my tools up here in just a second and then we'll see uh, about going for a drive just to see how it feels uh, driving, you know, shifting from one gear to the other. Um, I'm not gonna do any crazy shifting because, you know, it's I got the new motor, um, new clutch, so I haven't even done the 500 miles to break in the clutch. So it's just gonna be normal driving, which is normally how I drive anyway. So we'll see what the difference is. But <clears throat> like I said, from what I can tell, I mean, this is just nice and tight. We'll see how it drives. Alright, so let's see how this shifts. Gotta tell you right now, this is way different than my old shifter. Uh, way different than any other shifter I had. Uh, reverse went right in. Um, it is a little bit, uh, I would say harder, not harder, but you know, you, you, you do need to put a little bit of force to move it but it goes right into reverse, no problem. <clears throat> Wait for my door to close here.
first gear goes right in like I said it's a little bit more effort just because it's a it's a tighter shifter but shifts really tight precise um, let's see going into third going into third it's the easiest just because once you get out of second it guides you right in the middle and you just gotta go up so it's it's perfect I'm um, going to first again you do have to make your effort to bring it towards you but once you're going it's pretty good going into second uh, again it's a tighter shift uh, you know it's just tighter um, it takes a little bit more effort I'm sure you will get used to it but it's not like the factory it's just like kind of like loose you know just boom 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 this one you you know exactly where you're going with this shift that's the thing you're not just kind of you know it's not so easy and loose everywhere um, this one like definitely I know that I pull in it towards me I'm going to first second it's not bad I mean it's not a, a hard you know pull or anything it's just a little bit harder a little bit more uh, driver feel to it so keep that in mind um, now I did get the the mid handle I didn't get the uh, comfort or like the factory style one um, so that's a little bit longer or I can pull this one out a little bit and make it kind of longer um, I also didn't get the race one the race one I'm sure it's a lot harder because it's shorter so keep that in mind um, with this one I can make it shorter make it a little bit more like the race one or I can make it longer um, but you know honestly I like it I think it's uh, I think it's a little bit on the uh, you know this is like the right spot for me so this handle is perfect I think uh, the race one I think would have been a little bit too hard for my personal liking um, the comfort one it would have probably been actually pretty good just considering the shifter itself is so precise on these you have no idea the difference it makes hands down best shifter as far as how precise and tight each gear feels um, a little bit more driver effort I think but really makes makes a difference it's worth it I think just because of how nicely each gear feels so um, with that said I mean I like it uh, you know going from third to fourth it's like <clears throat> and even now like downshift into second it it just goes right in you know like I said it's it's the feel because it's tighter but um, you know second to third third to fourth it's just so simple you don't need to know okay am I in the right spot the only thing is like I said right here where I'm uh, you know going to first you know I do have to move it but it's not I mean it's not that much and it's you know when you're at the edge you know when your first gear goes in so it's not like a hard shift or anything like that um, really uh, to be honest I really like this shifter um, can't complain there's really nothing uh, <clears throat> like I said it's a little bit more of a driver feel so you have to you know um, to pull it like for for going to first it's you know it's not like like the factory or like the other short row shifters I had where you know you just move it back and forth like nothing you know uh, yesterday we were out and we're laughing because my uh, nephew was making sure he's in neutral and he's like da, 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 da. <laughs> um, you can't do that with this shifter like you you know there's not da, 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 da. 
there's not it's tight um, but like I said going to first just you know little effort clicks right in that's first I love it um, you know if I'm gonna go to second gear again just straight down I mean it clicks third it's easy because as soon as you get out of second your shifter is straight for third fourth same thing uh, fifth a little bit more effort but not that much you know uh, reverse same thing get in reverse in there um, you know with this tranny sometimes you have to let go of the clutch a little bit for it to cl click in or go to first but it man I, I really do like the way this feels so Um, quite honestly for the price you you pay for this shifter um, It's really comparable on the price to other shifters. So keep that in mind um, It it works really well Guys, Well, there you have it. Um, that's the install of the IMGW shifter. It works absolutely amazing um, Hands down uh, any other Mustang I own in the future i'm definitely going with mgw um, they do not sponsor us or anything like that i bought that shifter myself but the quality um, the way that shifter feels i will not buy a different shifter for for a mustang uh you know a new edge definitely i would go with that shifter um, different mustangs i will definitely give them a try so <clears throat> check them out uh, we're going to put the link in the description to their website Absolute great shifter, uh, great price, and they're made in the USA. So, I mean, that was the first thing for me. So, uh, please check out our other videos. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. Any comments, suggestions, leave them on the bottom. We'll see you on the next one. No, you win.